welcome. Here we are. It's Bernadette here and you're very welcome to our special live stream. You might see there's something a bit different about me today. Well, let's just say I've had a big boost to my elf esteem. <laughs> so, um, we are covering today the four essentials to growing your online list. And this live stream is part of a series that I'm doing. It's part of six live streams that I'm doing, all featuring the ultimate guide to online profits. And if you want to know more, there is a link in the chat below this video. We will also post it around the video where you can come and see the full webinar where I go into more detail. I'm able to give you more examples, but this is like a little taster. And today we're going to be focusing on the four things that you need to grow your online list. So first of all, a big welcome if you're just joining us. And uh, please, you know, type in the chat where you're joining us from today. I'd love to know more about you. And I would also love you to share with me your favourite elf joke. So uh, let's kick, kick things off. Um, what are elves' favourite music? Rap! <laughs> well, the good news is my um, online training is better than my elf jokes, but we've all got to start somewhere, so feel free to type your elf jokes in the chat. Right, so today we're talking about the four essentials to growing your online list. And first of all, you might say, well, why do I need to know this? So in previous live streams that you can access on this page, I've been sharing with you that your email subscriber list is one of the most important assets for you to focus on in your online business. If you are getting started online, it is absolutely the first thing that you need to do. Well, not quite the first thing. There's a couple of things you need to do before that. But um, it will be when you get going online, you know, it's, it's a real area to focus on and... When it comes to tracking your business and the growth of your business, it is a key metric to track. So having shared with you that this is something really important to focus on, um, I thought that it would be useful today if I actually showed you, now that you understand the importance of growing your online list, some things to do it and how exactly that you do it. So we're going to be talking today about the four essentials you need to grow your online list. So the first thing that you're going to need to grow your online list is you're going to need software. You're going to need email management software. So if you're currently using Outlook or um, you've, got, you've got some Microsoft program, that isn't going to cut it. If you want to grow an online business, you're going to need a proper software that can manage your email database and enable you to broadcast to your database. Now, I'm emphasising this because I know some people are going, oh, duh, I know that Bernadette. I didn't know that when I started out. I've been online for 15 years, and when I was first getting this figured out, I knew that I needed to grow a list. I knew that before I came online, and I'll tell you how I knew, because I already had a successful offline business, and the reason my business had been successful offline, it was a business-to-business -business, um, operation, but the reason it was successful is I had focused on growing a list of prospects, and I was uh, people who'd raised their hands and expressed an interest in what I was offering, and I had, um, by focusing on that, I, and focusing, rather than trying to sell to everybody, by really focusing on converting those people into paying customers, my business was getting really, really successful. So, sorry, I'm a little bit itchy with my elf hat on, but I'm gonna keep it on, because I find it rather punchy. Let's see if I can get it pointy up, lovely. Um, so, so I knew instinctively that I needed to grow a list, but I didn't have the right software to do it. So. One of the things that I did, and I'll be talking to you later about um, a lead magnet, and so one of the things that I did was I posted in a forum where I knew my target audience was hanging out, and I posted in that forum to say that I had a free report, and a hundred people said, yes, I want your free report, but the way for them to claim it, they had to email me, and I had to literally sit there doing an attachment and replying to every single email, which took hours. So the beauty of email management software is all of that is fully automated. If someone wants to join your list, if you want to instantly send them something, or even if you just want to follow up with the email after, it can all be fully automated. And the nice thing about um, these days is there's so much more choice of email software management tools around. When I started out, I'm trying to remember the name of the one that I finally started using. I think it was called Postbox or something like that. I don't even know if it's still in existence. But the ones that I would recommend um, if you're just starting out uh, you can get tools that will start you off for you know less than ten bucks a month. Now, this is it's a, it's it's an important um, tool that you're going to need in your business. So don't skimp here. You 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 need this. It's an essential part of an online business. 
So you can use things like uh, Constant Contact, MailChimp. I'm hearing really good things about Active Campaign. Um, I started out with One Shopping Cart, but One Shopping Cart also has a shopping cart facility, and you might not that need that immediately when you're just starting out. Anything that has extra facilities like shopping carts, you're typically going to um, pay more for. So the first thing you absolutely must do is get your email list manager sorted out. Now, the next thing that you're going to need to start growing your list is you are going to need an opt-in page. Now, let me explain what I mean by an opt-in page. So a lot of people get their home page and their opt-in page mixed up. And a lot of people say, oh, well, I need to have my whole website ready before I get going in business. Well, I don't recommend that you do it that way. To get started, you do not need a complete website. In fact, it's probably a mistake to invest in creating your website until you've really started to um, start engaging with your potential clients online. And the way that you can do this is you can get one page and um, it's an opt-in page and you can use software such as lead pages or click funnels to create this page. So you don't even need to have your own website to get going with this. Now the thing about an opt-in page is it's designed to do one thing and one thing only and that is to get people to sign up to your email list. So it is not a page where you're trying to say about you, it is not a page where you're trying to give testimonials, it's not a page where you're trying to explain all the services and products you provide, it's not a page where you would um, have blog posts or anything like that. It is designed to do one thing, one thing only. It is one choice, join the list or not. So you're gonna need at least one opt-in page to start with. And in my business now, I have hundreds of opt-in pages that I've created for different things over the years. And that's how you'll end up with multiple starting pipelines. But let's just get you started with one. Now, so your opt-in page, basically, you're gonna need to offer some, some reason for people to give you their email address. And typically the best way to do this is to offer a piece of value for free, something that is appealing and attractive and ideally irresistible to your target audience. And so that they then give you the email address and then you're gonna provide some short piece of value for free. Now I'm gonna be talking about the types of value to provide, but the most important thing to get across at this point is you have to be providing something that your target audience really want. You can only do that if you've really researched and understood their, what it is that they really need and, and, and you know them, you know their fears and hopes and desires. Now, if you want to know more about how to do this, you should definitely come and join the webinar. I did some webinar training on, on this over the past week and we have a replay up so you can still access it. Come and join the webinar and you'll get more detail on how to do that. Um, but that, you do need to have an understanding of who you're targeting and what it is they want and what you've got to be offering them. And once you know all of that, you can create um, a really powerful lead magnet. So I'll be talking about lead magnets in just a moment. So the first thing you need is you're going to need an email list manager. The second thing you are going to need is you're going to need an opt-in page, which is hooked up to your email list manager so that when people come and they put their email into your email page, into your opt-in page, that that automatically goes into your email list manager. So it's all fully automated, no, nothing for you to do. Because how we like to do things around here is we like to do the work once and then get paid, 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 paid. So you want to be systematizing from the get-go. So your opt-in page only gives people one option. And the other thing that you're going to need to do on your opt-in page is you're going to need to sell your lead magnet. And now the reason I'm putting sell in, um, what is that not called? Uh, inverted commas, is because even though you're giving it for free, you are still going to need to explain the benefits. Now, I like to keep opt-in pages really simple. And typically on my opt-in page, I have one headline, which is the main benefit in a headline that ideally would say who this is for and what they're going to get. And then probably anywhere between three and five bullet points that highlights the specific um benefits that they're going to get from saying yes to this lead magnet. So if you want to see an example of an opt-in page, come along to the webinar because I actually give an example and show you exactly how to do it and you can join the webinar either in the link below this in the chat below this video or we're posting a link um, in the text above the video as well. Uh, just a couple of uh, messages coming in so far. Sally is here and she loves the elf outfit. 
Well, Sally, the thing is, I do moonlight, not, I moonlight at this time of year. Um, I got a call from the big guy. He's a bit short, he's very busy. He asked me, could I step in, could I help? And I was like, Santa, I would love to, but I have promised to do a live stream today. So literally, straight after this, it's um, back to work for me. Um, ho, ho, ho. So, uh, right. And remember everyone, favorite elf jokes in the chat below. So where was I? Right, four things you need for your e for, to grow your email subscriber list. Number one, you need your email management software. Number two, you need an opt-in page. Come to the webinar if you want to hear more how-tos about exactly how to get that opt-in page up and running. Now let's turn to step three, which we could actually say is one of the more, most important parts of the whole process. You're going to need a lead magnet. So a lead magnet is a tangible piece of value. And ideally, it is instantly, it's instantly consumable, it's quick to consume, with the instant gratification, so that you know someone can get it here and now, there's something that they're going to get. Now, there's all types of lead magnets, and to be honest, I could do a whole webinar just on lead magnets, and I might, if there's interest in that, and that's something you'd like me to do a webinar or a live stream on, on just focusing on lead, lead magnets and how to create them, definitely type in the chat. Um, like We wanna make sure that the live streams and the webinars are relevant to what you need. So if that's something you want to know more about, just type in the chat and uh, you know we'll look. If there's enough interest, we'll definitely add it on. Um, <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm seeing some of the um, jokes coming through. Um, hello, welcome, Claire. You like my elf outfit? Yes, I'm feeling I'm feeling elf conscious today. Um, and Sheila is joining us from Cape Town. Hello, Sheila. You are very welcome. Right. So a lead magnet. So here's the thing. Here's the most important thing I can tell you about lead magnets. You've got to be giving people what they want. In fact, you could say that's actually the key to all marketing. You need to be giving people not what they want, not what you think they want, what they need, but something where that's a response to them going, I wish I could. I would love to, but I can't because. Like, show them how you can help them get what they want, how you can overcome that obstacle. So your lead magnet needs to be specific. The more specific, the better. Now, um, what this really comes down to is understanding your target client and giving them what they want. And um, I talk about that more in the webinar. So if you wanna come and join the webinar, there's a link to the webinar below. But what I thought it could be cool is to show you some examples of lead magnets that my clients have created. Because what I wanna demonstrate to you is that um, just the range of businesses that is possible to run online you know, part of my message, but, you know, what I want to do in this series is first of all, help you to see why an online business is a fantastic business if you want freedom and flexibility and to reach and serve a lot of people around the world. And the other thing is to, to really uh, show you that this is doable for you. Because, um, you know, it's like sometimes we, there's gurus out there on pedestals and all it creates is comparisonitis. And what I want to show you is there is a path from where you are right now to an online business that you love. So whether you've already started in business, or whether you're thinking about starting an online business, you don't know where to start, I want to break it down and make it doable and accessible for you. And part of my motivation in doing that is when I started out 15 years ago, I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know how to get there. And um, I had to figure it all out. And I didn't have anyone to say, okay, here are the steps. First you do this, then you do that, then you do this. That's what I'm trying to do here is simplify it and you know, give you a sense of everything that you're going to need to get going. So a list is going to be really important. Of the four essentials on your list, we've talked about so far that you are going to need About that it appears we have a Grinch a Grinch trying to steal our special Christmas episode the four things that you must do to grow your online list because I got locked out of my Facebook account and it seems that there's a security thing but you know what um, I think it's great someone was trying to hack my account while I'm live yay it had to be a Grinch and here is one up to the elves one up to Santa 
and one down to the Grinch. You're going to have to try harder, Grinch, if you want to get rid of me. Right, we've been talking about the four essentials that you must need to grow your online list. And in the previous episode, uh, which is just like a few minutes before this on my Facebook live stream, I was talking to you all about the email management software. And we had just started to talk about, I believe, growing your, op your opt-in list. So I had exp explained that your opt-in page is a page where you do one thing and one thing only, and that is you collect the person's email address. Now, Caroline, I don't know exactly where our, the training drops, so you might be able to give me some feedback on which bit you got and which bit you didn't, because I can repeat everything about an opt-in page if you want me to. Um, but also, I don't want to repeat myself, I want to move on, because I've got so much more content to share with you. So, um, okay, the opt-in page, you just do one thing and one thing only, and you, you sell a piece of value, a specific piece of content that is really important to your target audience. So it has to solve a problem that they have, or it has to overcome, um, yeah, it has to help them achieve something they want, or it helps them to solve a problem that they have. The more specific you can get, the better. So um, have I talked about that, Caroline? Okay. Let's just take a swig of coffee. So let's, um, Caroline, can you let me know that you can see the video because I can't see you right now. Let's just see, just give us a, just give us a ch chance, folks. Okay, great. Right, so we had talked about, we we're talking about the four essentials. I'm a little bit of a stressed elf. I'm gonna just breathe. That was not part of the plan for the live stream, stream to drop halfway through. But listen, we're here, we're back. We're all okay again. Uh, John is with us, you can see me, fantastic. Remember folks, favorite elf joke in the box below. That's just doing a bit of a laugh. Um, so Carlita says, what is elves, what do elves make to use to make their sandwiches? Shortbread. <laughs> okay, so you need four things to grow your online list. We've talked about your email list management software. The next thing you're gonna need is an opt-in page. You do not need a website. You do not need a website to start with. You need an opt-in page, one page, where you can capture people's information. That is the most, that's the first page that you need to have online. The good news is you don't need a website to do that. You can go and get an account with lead pages or click funnels and you can create your very first page offering out your lead magnet connected to your email management software and straight away then that's how you grow your best list. That's how simple it is to get started in an online business. So one of the ways that people stop themselves and getting going online is they, they think they have to have all of this stuff figured out and you really don't. In fact, it's, a, it's actually to get started growing your list before you, you know, think about what, exactly what you're gonna sell or what your product is gonna be is really, really useful because once you have a relationship with a group of people online and you understand exactly what it is they're looking for, the offers you create can be in a response to what they want. And just don't underestimate the importance of what I'm sharing with you here because at the heart of marketing is about giving people what they want. Sarah's just saying, hello from a fellow fairy. Welcome, Sarah. I am going to be featuring you in just a second because I'm going to be talking about lead magnets and I've got an example of yours here. So glad to have you here. Appreciate the support because the whole live stream drop in there was slightly, slightly successful. Uh, let me just check. I'm getting a couple of more misses. Uh, um, John is saying, what is the first thing learned by an elf in school? Answer, the alphabet. Right, I think we should have a prize for the best elf jokes, so keep them coming in the chat below. Um, okay, right. So, your opt-in page only does one thing. Now, if you want to see an example of an opt-in page, come along to the webinar, come and see the webinar, where I go into more detail. I give an example of one of my opt-in pages, and I show exactly why I was doing the things that I was doing on the opt-in page. I think this is important if you're learning from others online, that you don't just model what they do, but the more you understand the reasons behind them doing what they do, the better it's gonna be for you. And so when I shared the opt-in page on the webinar, I actually showed the thinking behind it and why I included certain things and I didn't include others. So if you want to see an example of an opt-in page, 
come on over to the webinar and I'll show you the opt-in page. But the bottom line is you need to focus on one thing and one thing only. And that thing is to persuade people to say yes to your lead magnet. Now, what is a lead magnet? It is a piece of valuable content that shares, that gives um, your target audience something usable, something immediate, something that solves a problem for them, and it starts the relationship. So you wanna be thinking here in terms of instant gratification. Now, I could do a whole thing on lead magnets, and in fact, um, I'm, I'm very happy to do an entire webinar or even an entire lead, uh, live stream just on lead magnets. So if you're interested in that, just type in the chat below, and if there is sufficient interest, I'll do it, because that's what these live streams are all about. It's about helping you get answers to your questions. Feel free also to ask your questions in the chat today. I'm here to serve you. And um, yeah, I wanna give you as much as I can in our time together. So there are four things that you need to grow your list. We've talked about your email management software. We've talked about your opt-in page. Now let's talk about lead magnet. So your lead magnet needs to solve a specific problem. So you want to, that you'll be able to create your best lead magnet when you know what it is that's keeping your target audience up at night. Don't try and create a lead magnet without that information. It, before you create a lead magnet, you would also want to go and do some test research to find out what are the things that your audience most crave, most need. And ideally, your lead magnet would, um, uh, <laughs> uh, ideally your lead magnet would do that. So Julia is saying, um, how do well elves greet each other? <laughs> the answer, small world, isn't it? Julia, I think that is my favourite elf joke so far. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's, I want to show you some examples of lead magnets from my clients. And um, these were the, I was actually chatting through it on the live stream earlier before I realised it, it dropped. And so I've got a, an intention with sh sharing these lead magnets. So... I want you to, to notice not just the lead magnet, but the process behind getting that lead magnet created. And um, I also wanna share with you the range of businesses that this can work for, because um, I have two intentions with this whole live stream series. One is to inspire you that an online business, if you want freedom and flexibility, and you want to make a big difference to a lot of people and be handsomely rewarded for it, there is no better business model than an online information empire. The second thing that I wanna show you throughout this series is that if this is the type of business you want, just how doable it is for you. I want to help get you clear on the path from where you are right now to the online business you want. So whether you, are, you haven't even started in your online business or you've taken the first few steps, I want to help make your path to success as clear and direct as possible. And to do that, I want to show you examples and I want to help, you know, um, create in you this feeling of you can do this. I want you to see it's doable because I think sometimes, especially if we're looking around for role models and we're looking at people who seem to be years ahead of us, um, you know, and I've been doing this for 15 years, that it, we can get an attack of what I call comparisonitis. And... Uh, and we think, it actually, instead of being inspired by the role model, we just feel inadequate. Well, I want to turn that on its head. I want to get you clear on what is your first step and, and actually go, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. That's actually what it takes. It's just taking the first step and then the next step and then the next step and you just put step after step after step. And then you, you literally, that's how you grow a successful online business. You could argue it's for any business. All right, so I want to show you some lead magnets. Some of them are just the covers of the lead magnet because I want to show you just a range from my clients and I want you to see exactly um, how this can work for any type of business. Um, so Jennifer is saying she's offering a free relaxation audio um, and how often should she promote it? I'll come on to that in a second, Jennifer. The first thing I would say as we go through these lead magnets, Jennifer, is what research did you do to discover that that, that that free relaxation audio was exactly what your target clients wanted? And, and what evidence do you have that this is like the thing that they most want? Because that's what makes a compelling lead magnet. A lead magnet, guys, is not just, what can I come up with that's free that I can deliver? That is not how you create a lead magnet. You create a lead magnet by getting to the heart of what your clients really want and then figuring out a way to give it to them. That's what, that's what matters. So. I'll show you some examples. 
Um, this is Gemma. Gemma runs dolphin retreats. Now, if you think about it, there's 7 billion people on the planet. I think 2 billion of them are on Facebook. But even out of that 2 billion, it stands to reason that some of them are going to be more predisposed to buy and come on Gemma's dolphin retreats than others. So how does she identify that group of people who are most interested in dolphin retreats? She has a fantastic story. Her story, it's her personal story of she was healed from a life-threatening illness and she credits what she did with the dolphins um, as part of that. So she's written a book about her experiences and she gives this free on Facebook. Now, some people are going to download this, some aren't. And the key here, folks, is you're not trying to sell to everybody. You're trying to identify who are the people who are most interested in what I have to offer. Because once Gemma knows that, she can focus her marketing attention and energy on following up with those people. She isn't, you know, she doesn't have to try and persuade everyone to come and swim with dolphins. Like, first of all, she can't do that. What would happen if 7 billion people said, yes, please, Gemma? She can't fulfill that. So it's not about trying to sell to everybody. It's not about trying to convince people or persuade people. One of my sayings is, when, you're, when you match up what you have to offer with a group of people who really need it, it's like that. There's not really any selling or convincing to be done. So if you are experiencing a sense of, oh, there's a bit of an uphill struggle here, I would say you haven't, you haven't done that bit yet. And that's where you need to focus your attention on finding that sweet spot where is it that what you have to offer really matches up with your audience's greatest need and want? And um, if you want to know more about this, you should definitely sign up for the webinar and to get access to the webinar that I did, where I will talk to you more about this and what I've created to help you do this. So, <clears throat> Lara is the next one. Now, this is a good example of understanding what your target clients want, because Lara is speaking to quite a specific niche. She is, um, she works with light leaders. She, she works with women, typically very gifted, highly intuitive women who um, have a big, you know, message for the world, have a big gift. But when she was talking to her target audience, she kept hearing over and over where they were blocked was around abundance. So Lara's thinking is, let me create something that addresses that, that gives them some tools to deal with that. Let me give them that for free. And then we can start the process from there. So what I, want to sh what I want you to see here is more than the examples. I want you to understand the thinking that went behind these examples. Okay. Um, right, so here we have Richard. Richard teaches people how to get clients using Facebook. He's really great at it. And so his lead magnet is the seven-step Facebook success checklist. So he's created a checklist. Now, notice with this, you know I said you want it to be instantly consumable, instant gratification. How long do you think it takes to get seven steps, to read and understand the seven steps? That's quick, isn't it? So that really checks the box of instant gratification. This is Carrie. Carrie is another client, and Carrie's specialist subject is um, helping small businesses to get more clients specifically through sales conversations. She's an outstanding salesperson and has loads of value to offer in this area. So she obviously wants to connect with people who um, she doesn't, you know, who, who want more sales conversations. So her ebook is for people who uh, can create an endless amount of red hot sales situations. So that's Carrie's ebook. Um, and I see there are questions coming in. In a moment, I'll, I'll turn to the questions and take those. So thanks, and keep, feel free to keep posting your questions as we go through. So this is Kate, and Kate's um, specialism is helping people who have a certain amount of expertise or know-how. Maybe they might be a consultant or a coach or some type of expert, and they want to then take what's in their head and create a product. So they want to productize themselves. Now, this is actually a really good thing to do, um, to have an online information empire because I talk about this in the webinar that when I started out in business I was based in a trading time for money business and one of the things I had to learn to do was how to package my expertise into products that did not rely me to be there personally to make a difference to the client. It's also something important you're going to need to do to have a successful online information empire that can really scale and grow. So what Kate's offering is really important and but one of the problems with being an expert is often 
what we do comes so naturally to us it's not always easy to kind of get it out and productize ourselves so that's the gap that Kate's um, uh, ebook fills right let's talk about Sarah Sarah is on the live stream today so welcome Sarah and I mentioned and featured Sarah in the live stream that we did yesterday because it's a few years now since we first connected and Sarah you can feel free Sarah to add to the chat anything that you want to supplement what I'm about to say um, but when Sarah and I first connected, um, I mean, Sarah was your archetypical broke healer, someone who has like a massive um, contribution to make and her specialism was, uh, and still is, flower essences and, um, you know, really, really, really gifted, but hadn't really figured out how to take all of those gifts and package it in a way that it was then commercially viable. And that's basically what we've been doing in our work together. And I'm so proud of Sarah because Sarah now lives in France. She was living in the UK when we first connected. And her and her partner now live in France. They're both fully supported. She's created an online business that is letting her and her partner live their dream life in France. And, and she's done that through doing what I'm talking to you about in this live stream and in the webinar. If you want to come and see the webinar, come along um, and click the link in the chat below. You can come, as, come and join us in the webinar. So... This is um, Sarah's uh, ebook. I printed out her whole ebook because I also wanted to show you. People ask, well, how long, should, uh, how long should it be? So the whole point with your lead magnet is it's, this lead magnet is what, what is it that I, you know, it's not everything you know about the subject. It's something specific. It's one chunk that delivers some e immediate actionable value. So Sarah now helps healers because in, in the healing I won't even call it industry, but there's a thing amongst healers is that a lot of traditional business advice doesn't really sit with them. And, you know, that they, they often are more spiritual and it seems to be like a mismatch between, you know, the, the business and, and spirit. So Sarah now helps people who were in the same situation that she was a few years ago to actually create an, you know, an authentic business that's true to them where they, haven't had to, they don't have to become something they're not. And she can help them sort of, um, you know, go down that path. So four steps to letting go of fear and self-doubt. Like two things that really stop people in this situation. And we have a formula that we give to our clients of exactly what to put in your ebook and what not to put in your ebook to get this created. Now, the, the PDFs that I've been sharing with you, you might think, oh, they take a long, you know, that's going to take me ages to do that. That's going to be a couple of months. These were all created in under three hours. And the reason that they were created in under three hours is we have a special workshop that we do with our clients where we ask key questions and in answering the key questions, the first draft gets delivered. So there might be some editing and going to find a nice cover and everything that comes afterwards, but that's how quickly you can get going, you know, with the ebook. And you, the thing about the ebook is not so much the content but it's, it's the overall message of the content because that's what's gonna get the email address. But you obviously need then in here to establish your credibility, to convey a bit about you know, your expertise and why your authority, to give real value. And you know we need to emphasize that too. In any business, it all comes down to money changes hands because value has been created and offered. That's why, so it, always at the heart of it, you need to think about value. Several years ago, I realized that if I made, in the more, first thing I did every morning in my business to think about how can I add value to my list today, that, that that would lead me to the right answers. So always, always, always be thinking, how can I create value? What problems can I solve? What questions do I have answers to? And you need to know, you don't need to be the expert on everything. Like you, you might only know, there might just be one little thing that you've solved, but it makes a difference. It could be just one little hack that you have. Um, you know, there's a saying, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. So often people will stop themselves by, um, you know, by thinking, oh, well, I, I can't possibly because I haven't got the certificates yet. I'm not the expert yet. Um, and one way to think about this, this comes from Denise Duffield Thomas, who I think is a really great example of someone who didn't wait to become an expert. She said she realized that she, she could be a contributor. So she had something to offer. She had a perspective that was worthwhile. Even though she hadn't figured it all out yet, um, she had a contribution to make. So that's what you need to think about. It's like, what's the contribution that you have to make? Um, okay, so this is Glenn. 
And Glenn works with, um, with teens primarily who are really coming to terms with their sexuality. And, you know, it could be that they're realising that they're gay or lesbian. And, you know, so finding the courage to come out and then, you know, the impact on the whole family as a result of that. So this is Glenn's um, ebook, doing really important work in the world. And that's another reason that I want to show you this. It's like, this isn't just about lead magnets. This is about what all of these clients are doing is finding the courage to package their wisdom, their expertise and make a difference to others. And um, getting past all of that thinking of, is it good enough? Who am I to do this? But I'm not an expert. Um, who will want it? What will people think? Um, I mean, you know, <laughs> look how I'm dressed today. I have to admit that, um, you know, shortly became, uh, before I came online, it was like, well, hmm, what are people going to think about my outfit today? Because it's not usual. And it's like, look, this is who I am. <laughs> so, so this is me. <laughs> so that's it. Um, right, I want to show you some business examples as well, because Mel asked yesterday, not sure if you're here today, Mel, but Mel had said, does this work business to business? Yes, 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 yes. So Alison is one of my clients. She works with packaging departments and not old, any old packaging departments, fast moving consumer goods, companies like Procter & Gamble, one of my first employers. Yeah, my first employers. I know you said first and laughing employers, but I have had more employers, even though I've been working for myself for 20 years. So in uh, Sarah's, uh, uh, so Alison's uh, book, book is really to be a conversation starter. And this is a way that she gets invited in, that people see her as an expert and a credibility. If she was trying to cold call packaging departments, she would be seen as an uninvited pest. But this is a door opener. And this, there's, what we do in her ebook is actually lead people through to the next step. And then she is invited in as a welcome guest. So that's a business to business example. Here is one from um, Anne, and Anne also works with businesses, specifically teams. So the critical first step to getting better team results. And um, she's targeting that like a team leaders who are really getting bogged down with dealing with like team dynamics and it's hampering the team performance. Okay. Um, here is Vicky. Vicky works with people on their websites and so she has got, uh, you know, three questions that will make your website five times more profitable. Now, there's a couple of things I really love about this ebook. Five times more profitable. Well, that's a big, bold promise, but it's also specific. It's five. And then she's saying three questions that will make your website five times more profitable. So notice what's happening right now that you're going, I wonder what the questions are. Do I know the questions or not? So that's a good example of an ebook, like a, a hook for a lead magnet that almost like creates a question in the visitor's mind, the opt-in page, that now can only be answered by downloading the ebook. So that's a, you know, a great way to do it. And uh, last but not least, this is Mariette. And here's another good example of listening to your customers and really understanding what it is that they want or your prospects, because these are well, prospects yet, not customers yet. So Mariette works with um, women and uh, women who are stressed and have too much going on. Mariette, I could have been your perfect client when the live stream, <laughs> when the live stream dropped <laughs> about 20 minutes ago. And uh, so one of the things that she noticed in her conversations was, that was coming up over and over and over, if only I had an extra 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. This is how this process works. You hear what people are asking for, go and create something that answers that question. If that's your lead magnet, you're off to a fantastic, great start. So I hope that that has given you some ideas for lead magnets that you could create. The most important thing is to understand the thinking that goes into the lead magnet. And if you want to see more, come on over to the webinar. The link is below the chat and, you know, we've got more examples. And right now, today, we're talking about the four essentials, but there's so many other things that we have in the webinar, like how then... Once people are on your list, how do you then make money from it? How do you turn those raised hands into paying customers? So, four essentials to growing an email list. We have your email list manager. We have the um, opt-in page where that's connected to your email list manager that then sells your lead magnet, lead magnet.
The lead magnet is at the heart of this. Really important to get this, to nail this, to know what is the lead magnet that's really gonna make a difference to my ideal crowd, and then to get it created quickly, right? Not six months from now, not six weeks from now. Why take the long route when you can get it done, you can get something quality um, and efficient done that does the job, but it does it, you know, it does it quickly. Money loves speed. So, um, what's the final thing you're gonna need? You're gonna need visitors to your opt-in page because you can have a fantastic, high converting opt-in page and you can have an absolutely irresistible lead magnet, but if no one is visiting your opt-in page, you're still gonna have very few subscribers. In fact, you'll have zero subscribers with zero visitors. So now we need to get more visitors to your opt-in page. So um, let me go back to your question. Jennifer had said, how often should I promote it on Facebook? Jennifer, that's the wrong question. The question you should be asking is, how do I get more visitors to my opt-in page? Because the way to get more visitors to your opt-in page is not just through Facebook. The way to get visitors to your opt-in page is to identify the places where your ideal clients are already congregating offline and online and then get a message in front of those people that lead to your opt-in page. Do you hear? Those are, those are two very different things. It's a different type of thinking. So sitting there going, how do I promote my lead magnet? Is, it, it, or, or how often should I promote my lead magnet on Facebook? Is different to going, okay, my end game here is to get more people to this page. Now let me reverse engineer what are all the potential steps that I could put in place to get people to my opt-in page. If you focus on getting people to your opt-in page, it's an entirely different question and will lead you some, some different answers to the, you know, three times a week on Facebook. I hope that helps. So, um, if you want to see more, come and sign up for the webinar. Um, the link to that is uh, below in the chat. So, I wanna share with you um, the three ways to get more traffic. And I go into this in more detail because uh, we are getting close to the hour for the two, uh, for the two, um, for the two live streams. Sorry, this one started. We dropped halfway through the first one. So, the three ways to get more traffic you can buy traffic, you can borrow traffic, you can create traffic. Now, someone asked yesterday about paid advertising, and paid advertising is the last thing I do to create traffic. It is in my mix, but it's not, it's not the place I start. And a better place to start is basically what I just said to Jennifer, is think about where is my target audience hanging out online, and how do I get my message in front of them there? So, as a result of me asking myself that question, I recognise that where my target audience hang is hanging out online is YouTube. After Google, YouTube is the second most, most highly searched search engine online. And look, off the top of my head, I don't know how many millions of views there are on YouTube every day. But I knew that there were people looking for answers to questions that my product and programme solved. And so, one of the things that I um, knew people were asking about is like, how do I get started in a home-based business? Now, I didn't guess at this. There were tools that I used to go and identify the keywords that my um, audience was searching for. But I realized that home-based business ideas was one. So I created just one video um, called home-based business ideas. It's a six minute video and it's over three years that I created it. Now, if you go to YouTube and you type in the YouTube search bar, home-based business ideas, you will see this comes up as one of the top videos. The only two, the last time I checked, that came up ahead of it were two paid ads. And remember, we're talking now about creating traffic, not buying traffic. You wanna buy traffic further down the line, but you start by creating traffic. In the three plus, just in a bit years, since I uploaded that video, over 200,000 people have viewed it. Now, the key is, so the, the method that I'm giving to Jennifer here is figure out where your target audience is already hanging out, then get in front of them and then invite them back to your opt-in page. And that's exactly what I do, is I tell people where to get more information. So now that's just with one video, the video is six minutes long and it took me six minutes to upload it and doing certain things with the keywords to upload it. But could you do that? Could you create a video 
which is six minutes about you talking about a specific problem that you can solve. I think you could do that. And even if you were really nervous about being seen on camera, you can do it with a PowerPoint video. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be your face on camera. So a six minute video and that now, day after day, I haven't touched it in over three years and day after day after day after day, I still get a, a trickle of uh, traffic from it. But what I want you to notice here, so again, we're talking about doing the work once and then get paid, paid, paid. That is, only one trickle comes from that video. But I now have over a hundred videos on YouTube and you put a hundred trickles together, you have now what's turned into quite a mighty river. And so one of the mistakes that people make online is they're trying to look for the one thing that is gonna be the one solution. And what I wanna get across to you is like, there's not one thing that makes a difference. It's a series of things working together. You need to understand it, that it's more systemic than that. It's not, it's not, you know, if and then, or action and results. So it's a series of things working together, but when they combine together, they get results. So three ways to uh, create traffic. If you come and join me on the webinar, I'll show you exactly the video, I'll show you the views, I talk on the webinar more about how I identify the keywords, the tools I use to do that. Come and, come and see the webinar and you'll find out more how to do it. And I also talk about the other methods of getting traffic, to borrow traffic and buy traffic, and when specifically is the right time to use them. Because in the live stream we did a couple of days ago, I talked about the five stages in an online business. And what's really important is you're using the right method at the right stage. So what happens if people try to invest in paid advertising, but thought they have really figured out who they're serving and what they want, it's money down the drain. You may as well just book a flight to Vegas because that's what you're doing, you're gambling. Like I only start paying for traffic when I know what I'm buying and I know and what I can reasonably expect as a return. I don't gamble with advertising money. That is not a good thing to do and it is very hard all the way around. So uh, let's take your questions now. Uh, just before we do, I'll just do a quick recap. Four essentials to growing an online list. We've talked about, and you might need to go back to the previous live stream if you just joined us on this one because we did get cut off halfway through. We talked about your email list manager. We talked about having a strong opt-in page, a page that just does one thing only, and why you can get started with just that page. You don't need a whole website. Don't stop delaying getting going online. You know, you don't need a website. You just need that page. We talked about a lead magnet and how to create a lead magnet that's really irresistible. And I'll do more training on this if you want it, but you need to type in the chat below that you want it. And then finally, traffic. And I've talked about how an example of how I create traffic, and it's just one of my favorite methods, is find out where your audience is hanging out. Go to those places and put an invitation in front of them to come and get your lead magnet, and that is how you get traffic to your opt-in page, and you start to build a list. Uh, so, what do you call a rich elf, says John, because we're also doing Facebook jokes, elf jokes, a wealthy, wealthy. <laughs> All right, it's, it's still, um, Julia's is the best so far. Who is the elf's favourite singer? Elvis Presley, yeah, obviously. Um, okay, right, so that's it. So, um, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our live streams today. You got two for the price of one, special Christmas special. And um, come along to the webinar, come along and find out more because I'm sharing with you the ultimate guide to online profits. And I want to show you how all of the pieces of the puzzle fit together to have a successful online business. It has been a pleasure to connect with you. And I really need to go now because I'm doing some important jobs for Santa because he's rather busy at the moment. So he called me earlier and asked if I could step in. So um, if you are in Belfast today, you might see me out and about doing um, important work for Santa. Otherwise, I'll see you back here tomorrow. We're back at 5 p.m. tomorrow. And I'm going to be talking about how you can get that list to start investing with you, how you can get them to uh, that, those raised hands into paying customers. So make sure to join us back tomorrow, and I shall see you then. Bye.